tempo is during training, you have a macro <laughs> plan in mind. All right. If you disturb the tempo, all of a sudden the shot caller is going to have problems thinking about what to do next. Right? So if you plan, you're going to start moving at minute three. If you're disrupted at minute two, it's going to change the whole flow of the game, especially if the shot caller does not have a lot of experiences Always going through that kind of trouble. And I kind of feel like that's what CU Soon has been doing. They're yep. denying the win condition and they're disrupting the timers that the opponent has. Their plan, minute four, minute six, minute seven. <laughs> they say, okay, if your timer is two minutes, I'm coming in 130. <laughs> that's good logic, right? Yeah. No, but I, I agree. Flawless with, logic. I, I agree with what you're saying here, LaFell, right? Timing wise and good. everything. That's why, here's what I will see, man. I want to see that brotherly connection, right? I want to see that the brotherly, brotherly instinct, yeah. as it's called, you know, as Asu mentioned, because. That's what we didn't necessarily get to see last time because it was a Franco pick, right? It wasn't something where, again, when you're not landing the hooks, what so else early can you choke? do? Early choke? Maybe, you Before know, it lock bad. it in. It's one of the signature picks of Troll. Huh. Well, I will I will explain the Brothers Instincts thing before we go into the draft, which actually got triggered after we saw every time that Trazan's trying to take a turtle or a lord, his brother Troll comes in and takes out the jungler, especially with the Cho, with every with any suppression or even like with crowd control, he just secures that place. But let's look here what happened. Oh, Nolan no, is up to the task by team Triple Esports, and even before that, before we continue with the draft, Joy seemed to be the problem for team Triple Esports. I would actually quite agree that Joy was a problem for Team Triple Esports. They couldn't handle it. Taking Nolan, expect a Fivius. Let me ask you this, Yasu. Mm -hmm. Ask. <laughs> I'm expecting <laughs> ask a Kaja. Kaja. <laughs> I'm expecting a Kaja. No, not, that's not it. Sorry, How's Tarzan on the, uh, on the Assassins or like Nolan, for example? Huh. Does he have it in him? Because from what I remember, he loves the utility. You yeah. know, the utility junglers. He does. He does love the utility junglers, but... Tarzan have proved himself using Ling and also oh. using Hanzo at some times. I wouldn't give till it was his one of the best picks, but there was that high Abusa, so he can't play a sub. Choose my own path. Angela and Arlet again. Ouch. So we really have to see if Triple Esports with this Nolan, they gotta be a little bit more proactive. I want to see a more aggressive draft because Nolan can enter the jungle and he can outpace most junglers at this point. Fabius for Team Triple Esports at this point. Do you think they can both prevent Team CSU from taking it and also her. using it against the Arlut? Uh, they, well, right now, uh, there's the plan, right? Just take the Kadena. They have the Bruno. They have so much burst potential for Triple Esports right mm. now that they could play around that. My only concern, right, is once again, Angela going to be locked in here. Yeah. We know it's a favorite, especially in the hands of Raw, how they play around this. And and with that, even the Arlot, again, having this utility for you and how it resulted even in the previous game, that's already scary. Even just two heroes for now. So for Triple Esports, I got to say, they have to be able to start fast. They have to get on their own timing, right? They need oh. to get ahead of the curve here. But now that it's going to be the assassin matchup between these two junglers, like we pointed out earlier, who's the king of the jungle? Well, this game could be a deciding factor for that. It is definitely going to be on the roamers uh, for me personally, because Lancelot as well, I would say it started in the Philippines, but before that, artificial intelligence, Angela is an Android. Probably uses a USB-C charging port and not lightning. Hey, I am the power of nice. But look, Angela I, can I don't do get it. Yeah, it's, I, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay, Daddy. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know a little bit later. Now, I want to go back to the point where Lancelot, <laughs> it's starting in the Philippines where the Lancelot always outpaces any other jungler. During that time, Nolan didn't exist. Yeah. Now it's going to be it's gonna be looking at both junglers. The, the rotation or the pathing that they choose is going to be very, very crucial. And if any kind of disturbance is coming in from those roamers. So in this game, honestly, for Triple Esports, if they're able to get a Cho, it's going to be looking great. Well, it's one of their like, best picks to have that show, and also having it with the Kadita would actually make more sense to me to see. But Team CU soon, with the, hard, with the hard guard, with everything they have right now, with the Lancelot, again, uh, you have spoken about Tarzan and how good is he using the Assassins. Also, MP the King is not known for his Assassin picks, so he's also known for the utility junglers. Both of them are stepping out of their comfort zone, but Kufra is out, as, low, uh, as well as the joy from the last game. Which message does that sing? Well, 
again, when it comes to that matchup with the jungle, both of these junglers will be duking it out. My biggest concern, though, once again, Angela, mm -hmm. Android or not, is going to give an upper hand here, especially with the Lancelot. Now, you know, the performance here is going to come down to some of those early skirmishes and those dances and how they played oh, wow. off. Oh, and oh man. In the world. Yeah. They take the show. Trimble show is amazing. Nine, again, you, you just didn't get it. She's an android. I don't get it. USB-C. Yeah, I don't get it. Yes. Yeah, but, but what's the catch? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the oh charger is the catch. Yeah, yeah I, I know, like, I have idiots on the table. Uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Fabius! Vovius, the one I'm rooting for. I mean, the Vovius here is going to be good, but my only concern is that Arle can uh, pull him back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Who's who's playing what, where now? If my meta braid, it should be a Kadita room and a Vovius mid. Kadita room and a Vovius mid. And Atamu's playing against the Arle. Again. I mean, he did well, technically win before. Technically. Yeah, <laughs> but it didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter that he won the lane. No, no. Okay. Imagine. 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 We're imagining. Thamus can win the 1v1. Correct. Okay. If he wins the 1v1, where can he go? In the jungle. Isn't that where Nolan wants to be? Yeah. Isn't there where Lan... Well, well, Lancelot just goes to Nolan's jungle then. That's why I say the pathing is going to be very, very important because if Thamus wins, goes inside the jungle looking for Lancelot and Lancelot's in the opposite jungle. The mm. pathing is going to be important. Well, the last Mark thing. my words! <laughs> Mark! You got Joseph? a USB charger I can borrow? Uh, USB-C? Thanks. Yeah, I do. I get it now, by the way. You guys are still idiots. I've got it the whole time. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thinking back. I idiots. didn't get it yet. Maybe that I'll, I'm, I'm more than, okay. Uh, look, we will, we will discuss that there. But look at the, the numbers again for the favor of Team Triple Esports, 8.8 to 4. Go Either ahead. way, <laughs> we're going into the land of dawn. We'll see you soon. Tremble against Triple Esports, or this time, Triple Esports understands the meta, understands the game, pushes us to game number three. Ah, uh, game number three. I think that's a dream for Team Triple Esports to look up to, but it seems like from the early game, we will see some action happen in the jungle. This time, it's not the action Triple Esports wants to see. Right you know, no. Okay, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you know what's interesting, too, about this? You're interesting. Thank you. Is, uh, yeah, going back to the timing thing, pressure-wise, you know, LaFell is really, how do these roamers even put the pressure on these junglers? Because that's typically what happens when it's the assassins being locked in for mm -hmm. that role, right? They kind of have mm -hmm. to play around that. And also, on top of that, I think with this, when it comes up to these objectives, you have to be able to win and extend some of those fights. And again, that's where I feel like Nolan's yeah. going to struggle a little bit because we know that he can get whittled down a little bit earlier. I would say when we're talking about tempo, it was quite a few patches ago where the buff, the way that it operates, the more people there, the tougher it's going to be. And the Cho just now, as we saw, just being close to the, to the buff, it doesn't matter that Tarzan secures the buff. It's going to be a little bit slower. So in this way, without really doing anything, just by showing your face, MP the King will have this advantage of being able to clear the jungle much, much faster. Well, having the tanks a lot will actually make more sense. When, when you go into the engages, we will see that he will have a lot of fun. There's, no, there's not that much. There's even no crowd control that can be mentioned here from the side of Team Triple Esports. So he will have fun playing that tank slot. But there's something I'm really concerned from the side of Team uh, C soon, which is uh, Kose on that cloud. Where is the setup that he needs to have? Is it just the final slash? I don't think that that's enough. I mean, I kind of feel like the Cho can be able to do a lot as well with the Jake uh... Kundo. Um, because even here, see you soon, I saw the difference in goal just now. It's 200 difference. Oh. Well, with that, both of these just trying to get that level 4. Turtle now going to be uh, spawning here, still battling it out. Mm. They're going to put the pressure once again on Tarzan here. Boxy almost at level 4 as well. Oh, still oh. on the top side, though. They actually might just f decide to find out. They get the flicker out. Still going for it. Boxy trying to hold it down again. A lot of this back and forth. And look at this. A level difference. MP the King just with one. Oh, oh, before oh. that, go ahead. There they go. They're going to jump in. MP the King able to secure the turtle. Has the heart guard alongside with it. Sandy trying to hold down this front line. Cuff in there as well. There's the final slash. It's going to be canceled out. They're still working for it. Sandy will fall. See you soon running here. But they did get the turtle. 
And I'm sorry, even though I'm the anchor, I gotta analyze here because we saw the difference. Because the difference in gold just now for MP the King and Tarzan before the turtle was 200 difference. That's one uh, small item and it was one level difference. And that what happens when Boxy the King is able to slow down Tarzan. He only slowed down for one buff, but that one buff made a huge difference. Yeah, and also as an analyst, I would say that Team Triple E Sports were so behind and also triggered the uh, previous ultimate so early on. Oh, is it an ult? Oh, he's gonna go ahead and use the way the dragon, but again, just kind of messing here with Tarzan. Rest of the team here as well. Mm. So Triple E Sports, as you guys were mentioning, you know, they, they need to kind of keep things under control, right? Early yeah. game still. But that small lead is starting to build for CU soon. Yeah, I think that Team Triple Esports could have done much more better in that team fight because they triggered everything right before the turtle fight. And not just that, the positioning was off point. Uh, it was totally off point. He beat the king with a second skill with a retribution. That's what we know about the Lancelot also having one uh, level uh, advantage that made his retribution even more uh, dangerous, let's say, for Team Triple Esports. Everything is aligning for Team CS soon win. Oh. Wow, kicking him right into the Phantom Execution. Ooh. Cuffin, though, gonna use the Demonic Force, trying to stay alive for it. Still going, hard guard now on MP the King, goes under the turret, he's in trouble. Cuffin falls right there at the Tier 1. And I gotta say, good execution by Boxy the King. He was holding on to his dashes, and he's dashing towards uh, the mid lane turret, trying to bait it out, and unfortunately, Cuffin took the bait. Well, winning the lane for Felix is not quite what we expect to see an all to do against... Uh, oh, that was good. Yeah, he's able to dodge the final slash, but he can't dodge the rest of the damage. Sano going to fall now into the mid lane. Boxy the King also keeping it at bay. Once again, Triple Esports trying to get on the board here. Turtle now up for the taking. See you soon. Going to go ahead and start it up. Still oh. out rough waves. This could be their first kill. Tarzan able to get it. Still going to clash it out here. Felix has to flicker out, but on the back side, MP the King Ooh. looking for Troll. Sanji gonna keep him at bay, Tarzan meets him there into the jungle. Using the Fracture, no one's securing a kill just yet. The final slash comes through, Heart Guard on MP the King gonna be chasing down. Cuffin, they want the kill, they get it. And now see you soon in taking for this turtle. I gotta say, man, one thing is 4 minutes 30. That was when they started moving together. Well, once the, again. Did you see that with two watches? Yes. He did. He's got all the clocks here he needs. Phantom Execution Ooh. Troll, though, will be able to secure the turtle here for Triple Esports, but Sano could be Ooh. in trouble. Kose and Boxy the King, he's got to play this around very carefully. Mm. Boxy trying to duke it out here. Oh. Sano, though, going to hold his own. Wow, that damage from Sano is something to take care from on the top lane. I don't, I, I don't actually, let me look at the at the items. I, that was the actually question I was. Mm, he did get the has claws and he's also going for the Berserk Fury, so he Whoa. does have that damage. I mean, this is a Kadita roam. What you want to do, what you want to accomplish is to be able to catch people off. And the genius one is to make sure that you get to do your job. Your job isn't to, to tank. Sometimes you want to open the map, sure, but it's really about catching the rotations. You wait at a certain bush. Mm -hmm. When someone wants to go rotate, say, bottom or top or going for the turtle, you just burst them down as fast as you can. Well, I don't think that he's going for a tank slot. He's going for a semi tank slot. Oh, Felix, he gets the heart guard. Is he going to be able to get out of this? It is only Sanji Tarzan. Felix is just going to be fine now. They still might have oh. the hunt for the top side. Boxy going to fall now. Still on the bottom as well. Troll could be in trouble. Still MP the King going for it. Could still going to be used. Are they actually going to commit to this? They back uh. off for now. But Triple Esports still trying to find anything they can to stay in this game. The question is, what are they looking for? Oh, oh MP the King still. Oh. He might take a couple too oh. many shots. Phantom Execution out. Cuffin now jumping in oh. with a Demonic Force. They punish. MP the King. Yeah, MP the King, that was the perfect time to have that shutdown. He will be missed at the turtle time. They might go for the turret, they might go also for the kill. And now this on the top side, the tier one, Boxy, trying to keep him together, away the dragon. Felix Ooh. there as well, gets the final slash. They're gonna find Sano, he can't get away in time as Kuse gets the kill. Now Sanji, confident troll here to meet them for the fight. Still going to be put out now. Raw has the heart guard available. Still trying to join the fight here. Blazing Duet going to come through. The heart guard alongside with it. Troll will fall. Cuffin still trying to hold it down, but he is next. Now Turtle for the taking. Tarzan has to get his buff and get out. 
looking at the time, is it's four minutes and seven minutes, respectively, because it looks like see you soon. When they have a claw, they're really want, waiting on the second item because once that's completed, they just go ham. Oh, they're still going to be going again. Sanji, everything thrown at him as he falls, and the turtle also taken. Now the mid lane, the focus here for see you soon. See you soon are increasing the tempo indeed. Look here at see you soon. They are just taking everything they want even more than what they want. Taking two turtles, two, two, two turrets, also having gold lead, really good compositions. Everything is aligning for a win to Team See You Soon once again. So I just don't have anything to do but to wonder, was that the plan again from the coach? Was that what he wanted Team Triple Esports to fall into? Give a Nolan, give whatever Team Triple Esports won, open that Kadita again and just just yeah. to counter it back. I mean, I don't know about Triple Esports, but see you soon. They've been very disciplined because they've been doing this for like what? Four games straight at this point, yeah. Yeah. right? Four minutes, first rotation, seven minutes, don't care about the lane. Just go and try to get as much as you can. And they never stop. And I like the way that they're layering the engage. It's like, Foxy, can you go in? No, Felix will do it. Felix, can you go in? No, Foxy will do it. Neither of them can go in, and the King will do it. Oh, troll, trying to go in. Forcing his own situation, not even going to use the Petrify there. He knew that that wouldn't work. So again, this is up to Triple Esports, right? How do you work around this timing that CS Soon has shown time and time again? Now for the fourth game in the row in the Whoa. bottom side, still in the mid lane. They're actually going to go for it. Under the turret, they go. MP the King could be in trouble. Thor Rose going to be there. But he eventually goes down by Sanji. But Felix on the back side goes in with the final slash. And they're forcing him back. Toss in now the focus. He falls. The bloodbath, though, it's a 3 for 2 trade. Felix still a threat here. But see you soon. Plenty healthy bodies. Finally, 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 Sanji joins the conversation. So far, two games in a row, Tamas is completely out of the discussion. Even though he got to those two kills, there's nothing I could say that can save Triple Esports right now. Sano is in a really bad position. He's in a really disastrous performance right now. He needs to find his own tempo. That vengeance, though, from Sanji. He's just asking one question. Why are you hitting yourself? Because all the while, <laughs> as much as damage Kusei did, he's just doing it to himself. And we saw him using the BMI early to like, okay, okay, I understand what's going on. I'm going to back off. But the residual damage from Dexter being left at their location still hits him back. So it's something that Kusei has to keep in mind after this. Like, okay, does he have the vengeance? He does. Can you guys trigger it first? Then I'm going to go in. There's something that's really good if Team Triple Esports did right now, and that's to focus that there's no ma magical damage. Yeah, magical damage for Team CU soon that can be worried about. So building up some physical defense is the solution. Whoa, Troll going to get taken out very quickly here. Boxy being focused down by Coffin. Now he's going to get whittled down. Still, Lord going to be worked on. Coffin waiting for the rest of the team. Hardguard goes Whoa. through on MP the King. Just going for the backside. Santa could be in trouble. They have to take it through. Phantom Execution going to be used. There's the vengeance as well from Sanji. Sanji. Final slash to follow up. Sanji taken down. So two down for Triple Esports. This is a go signal for the Lord. And again, Kusei, this time he learned his lessons. He didn't go for it. He, he still has his blazing duet. He's going to make sure it's like, all right, we're just going to pick them off one by one. We have a 4,000 goal lead. If we don't have to force things out, we don't have to. We got to make sure that the game is clean. We're going to execute it as best as we can. Tarzan right now, also with this Nolan, he's not finding his targets. Yeah, Tarzan, I wouldn't say that Nolan, even though it's one of the best picks, if not the best pick right now at the M5, mm, arguably, I'd say he didn't show up in this game so far. But Triple E Sports, hmm. I don't know. Right now, honestly, the question is, Triple Esports, what are they looking for, Yasu? What can they do? What can they do? To, to buy more time. To buy more time. And that's what, yeah, speaking of time, to buy more time. Because if they took that defensive item, like the, if they bought the defense items for the physical, they can actually pull off something. Well, they just got the wind of nature on Sano, right? That might help them out. They got to deal with this Lord as well. Final what? Slash could come through on the right target. Cuffin taken down in an instant. That was now, obvious. Now down one member. Still the assault on the base going to go. They should be able to clear things out, though. But most likely going to lose something. Boxy going to jump in. 
looking for his own setup. Can't find it just yet. Blazing do it with Kose. And now they go in further. Another final slap. Whoa. Looking to end the game here. Tarzan going to be in trouble. See you soon. Waiting for their moment. Sanji trying to keep them at bay. But it's a full force besides Kose from See You Soon. And they're going to go ahead and work on the base. But are they actually going to be able to end it here? Sanji trying to Whoa. keep them there. Couple hits, no minions just yet. Foxy Whoa. will fall. Raw has to flick around. Cuffin's back here with a vengeance. Chasing down Felix. Now MP the King gets the heart guard. They're going to fight it out. But they will disengage. See You Soon gets the three turrets. Two turrets. Buying some time, making the defense possible. That what that is what Team Triple Esports are aiming for. But with will they use that last opportunity to make a defense to make it back against See You Soon? They need defensive items. They need to buy more time. The time manager. What do you have to say? Well, right now we're going to look at the instant replay and really see what happens. See you soon. Looked a little bit desperate. You really want to end the game as fast as possible. And I kind of feel like part of the mistake is they start to tunnel vision. And I'm not so sure why because they're in control of the game. And they're just allowing for Triple Esports to to catch their mistakes. And also something really interesting is that Team See You Soon, when, when they went in for uh, for the base or for the crystal, they didn't have Kosei alive. So they didn't have that damage that can take the crystal out. But I don't think that this is this will be the case for the next time. Team See You Soon, if they want to go in and to finish, they will do it the proper way and not the savage way. Honestly, having the blade armor onto Sanji as well, I kind of feel like it, it falls on his shoulders. Yep. He's the real reason why Kusei can't get away with all those blazing duets. So at this point, it almost seems like you want to bait See You Soon for an engage. Let them go in first, and then you just counter back. Yeah, I think I think this is kind of the plan here because if you cannot deal, if, or if you don't have that much of a output damage, you can you can be baited. Oh, troll! Oh, I'm actually gonna go for it again. MP the King able to get the Lord. Now they're actually gonna collapse down on Sanji. Cuff in there as well. Harkar gonna go through. Troll to fall. Now Tarzan on the run. One hit away. Raw gets the kill. Still gonna be fighting now. Cuff in there. Waiting for Sano. Sano and Sanji left to their own. Kose jumps in. Looking for more. Boxy flickers in. Triple. Raw on this Angela. <laughs> And that looks like it's gonna be it here as they clear out the mid lane. They wait for the minions to push in from the bottom. See you soon. The timing is there. And they clean it up from Sanji. Ra is crazy. He's godlike. They sweep the series two to O. Oh. Godlike Android Ra able to claim a victory for his team. And again, see you soon seems to be the master of time where they are ending games at a blazing speed. Two to zero. That, that actually, that's not what we all expected here on the desk. We expected to go for a full series, but it didn't look quite good. And also I can see, I can tell from the faces of Team Triple Esports, they didn't like what just happened. They, don't, they didn't enjoy the game at all. It was a dominant game, one-sided game, two times in a row. And not just that, they were led into the traps one after, one time after another. Triple Esports, they have to up their game if they want to make it and, and survive this group. It's gonna be really tough coming up from here. They still have Onik. They still, they Ooh, still have a lot to yeah. do. Oh my. They still got a lot ahead of them, right? But uh, now that we've seen See You Soon, yesterday, today, very similar performances. I would say maybe they were a little overconfident with the lead that they had when that one, you know, assault on the base. But still, ultimately, a very clean performances from See You Soon. And it's tough to think, you know, how do you how do you interrupt those timings, right? I mean, even if they had four clocks here, Lafal, I think it's tough for some teams to handle this. But uh, again, the tempo, it's blazing, it's on point. I yeah. would say some of the basics when it comes to understanding the timings is that at a certain point, you have your turret, that is your base defense. But some moments, you gotta let it go. You gotta wait at the bush behind the turret to make sure if someone is looking for a kill, you don't give that kill. Understanding when they're gonna move is the first step to know when you're supposed to hide. Yeah, they weren't in position actually to do what they did Team Triple Esports by looking here. We have the MVP of the match, I think. I think it should be the Angela. Yeah, it is the Angela. Ra takes <laughs> 7, 0, 11. Wow, wow. That, that's not the KDA you expect to see from an Angela, actually. But seeing that he went for the full 
damage also really good cooldown with that fleeting time 7011 i actually want to see how much damage output did he deal because he was the one and only magic damage dealer from the side of team see you soon okay here's the thing this is the kind of angela that will never allow you to have a savage oh because you got a maniac <laughs> i got it Bobby, Bobby, boo. <laughs> you, you don't get a maniac we get a maniac so Let's go in now and look what happened and break down what happened in the highlights here. See you soon. We're actually dominating the early game. Sanwir, this was the shutdown that Team Triple Esports needed desperately on MP the King because it seems like he switched role from the utility junglers or he switched uh, places from the utility junglers to the assassin ones. And here, Sanji yep. was making backfire at Team See You Soon using that just. Vengeance was enough to take two members down from the side of Team CSU soon and also not just that team Triple Esports as we have mentioned earlier on they weren't in position to go and play in aggressive they weren't in position to go in and risk anything they had to go and make a solid defense once again but they haven't made that we will see that through the highlights coming up here that was the solid defense coming from Sanji and coming also from the rest of the team because they bought some time until Coffin came back from the dead to just make one more defense possible one successful defense led by coffin also was provided the opportunity by troll and by sanji as well he was there was the turning point for team triple esports but again here when they go when when they went in for that lord when they went in and risk it all with the troll joining with the first kill here is the double kill here's the triple kill almost a maniac team c soon actually were brutal we're brutal we're savages against Team Triple Esports. I would say you soon won in the first 30 seconds. The 30? The first 30 seconds. Because that was the timing that you're going to uh, do your buff. Mm -hmm. And it's at that point that Boxy slowed him enough. And then during the first turtle, there was a one level gap. And then after that, see you soon. It's all them. Not only that, but uh, the first 30 seconds, if you will, it, we just you talked about the rotation so much as leading into the game itself. And that's kind of what unfolded there. It worked really well for them. Even MP the King on this Lancelot, whether he went, uh, you know, tanks a lot or the damage mm -hmm. version of this Lancelot, which he, you know, kind of had his own version of this, had that endless battle, had the Thunder Belt and everything else. But really, a lot of it, he was able to just rely on Raw, the game MVP here. And it worked out so well for them. And when you looked at those highlights, even considering the itemization here, yeah. you saw how much of an advantage it was to have these tankier initiators, these act that basically the shields, the heals through, mm -hmm. and it kind of whittled down Triple Esports in the lineup that they had. Well, if LaFell says it's 30 seconds, I trust him. This guy have two watches, so I'll trust, I will trust him when it comes to time. But speaking of time, that fleeting time was actually so good on the Angela. Multiple times he was able to trigger his hard guard and, and managed not to just make his team survive. Actually, he didn't use his hard guard ultimate to, for his team to survive. It was more about going more aggressive and taking more out of the triple eSport mm -hmm. troops and also jungle. Here's the damage dealt yeah. by both teams, whereas the Angela... Um, 30 seconds per... Yeah. My, my personal worry here, Tarzan did the least amount of damage in his team. And that's a Nolan. That's a Nolan. Yeah. That's a jungler. The only one lower damage was Boxy the King. And he's the opposing roamer. So yeah. I kind of feel like, again, the first three seconds threw Tarzan off. Yeah, I think they did. And, yeah. uh, you know, usually we have to acknowledge the fact that usually when these assassins are locked in the jungle, that's kind of like one of the boxes early on that teams have to check, right? They have to disrupt those rotations, they have to disrupt some of those huh. those assassins because that's when they get down, it, it takes a little more work for them to build back up. And that's kind of what we saw there, even looking at the stats, right? The mm. damage, like you don't pick Nolan for that, right? Oh, that's yeah, no. that's yeah. the struggle. But look, speaking of the stats, there was a stat... Uh